My morning routine has changed a bit since I've started working from home again. Since I don't have to commute anymore and getting ready in the morning takes a lot less time, I was able to tweak my routine a bit and I'll be sharing that with you today. My morning routine starts at around 6.30 am. I immediately pull back the covers and open the windows to let the room and my bed breathe for a while. Since I have this extra time in the morning, I decided that for the time being I would take this chance to gain back momentum in my habit tracking and start working out during the morning like I used to do when I had classes in the afternoon. I don't particularly enjoy working out and I have a huge difficulty in keeping this habit going, so I honestly feel that taking care of it first thing in the morning is more efficient because it feels like ripping a band-aid. The night before I rearrange my furniture so I have more space in the middle of my living room to work out and I also pick my workout gear, grab a bottle of water, my yoga mat, a piece of fruit and a towel and have everything prepped so the only thing I have to do in the morning is getting out of bed without making too much noise. I usually pick low impact fitness planner workouts that are between 30 and 45 minutes and play the video on my iPad with my headphones on. My goal here is to slowly progress from low impact routines to more challenging workouts and I like to mix different things like HIIT training, Pilates, stretching or strength training. After I finish my workout, I let Chester out of the crates, take him on a potty break and feed him and then I'll jump straight into the shower. Since I wake up very early to work out, I prefer to leave my dog sleeping in the crate until I have the time to actually hang out with him. We love breakfast, and since it's the first proper meal of the day, we like to prep food that will fill us up for the entire morning and also gives us an excuse to spend some quality time together during this time of the day. Sometimes I manage to prep some food for lunch at the same time, so I won't be bothered to cook again during lunch break. Or I'll also cook extra pancakes to freeze in case I need them in busier mornings. After breakfast, I put on some comfy clothes and, as I've mentioned in other videos, I think that a change of outfit is a good way to create limits between your leisure and working routines. The habit of putting on different clothes and one or two pieces of jewelry and fixing my hair mimics the same routine I had when I left for work in the morning, so carrying that habit over to this new routine works wonders for me. After letting the bedroom breathe for one hour or so, I make the bed, water my plants and go for a quick cleanup around the house. If I still have the time, I'll read one or two chapters of my current novel, since I've shifted my language learning routine to the evening time after dinner. And at 9am it's time to set up the workstation. We both share one table, which is also the place where we have our meals. So we have our laptops, chargers and other devices neatly packed every evening and then packed every morning, so we don't have to deal with a cluttered desk during the rest of the day. The process takes only a couple of minutes and just like changing outfits, allows you to limit your working hours and understand when it's time to shift back into leisure mode. Next week I'll be uploading a video on what a workday usually looks like for me and how I plan and get organized to work, including which tools I use and how I set up everything. And between working, managing a business and trying to conciliate family life with some well-deserved self-care, sometimes there isn't enough time in the day dedicated to education. And for that you have a great combo which is today's sponsor, CuriosityStream and Nebula. Curiosity Stream has thousands of documentaries that you can watch on the go. Their portfolio covers dozens of different topics that can help you improve your knowledge in things you wouldn't be able to learn in such a short amount of time. When you sign up for Curiosity Stream, you also get access to Nebula, which is a platform made by video creators, myself included, where we are able to share our content without YouTube's restrictive policies. Signing up for Nebula allows you to watch awesome content that you can find anywhere else and help support independent creators on making content that is useful and interesting instead of having to cater to YouTube's algorithm. 
Sign up using the promo code STUDYCORNER or click the link in the description box to have your free 30-day membership and start learning today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!